all right guys so with pride month in full swing you already know what we're gonna get from woke corporate america you already know what we're gonna get okay we're gonna get all types of um woke virtue signaling about how these companies just love pride right i mean we have the u.s military talking about how they love pride we have companies like bmw that have come out here and changed all their logos to the rainbow okay except in countries like saudi arabia where you know uh that lifestyle is not necessarily uh as uh accepted right even though these companies claim that they're you know standing up for uh freedom everywhere and social justice everywhere for whatever reason in countries like saudi arabia where that's just not acceptable um you know they don't feel the need to stand up for uh human rights there we even have companies like every man jack that have come out and said the quiet part out loud about uh what is going on in this country okay you also have sports leagues like the nfl right celebrating pride okay i mean they've even gone as far as to now have the first openly transgender cheerleader in the nfl right uh the carolina panthers my favorite nfl football team now has the first openly transgender cheerleader okay so now um we're gonna have transgender cheerleaders in the nfl yeah that is <laughs> how far this is is going okay this is how far this is going and this is the same league that will be telling us during breast cancer awareness month how much they love women right how much they care about women and women's rights and women's health but yet they are taking a spot away from a woman to give to a biological man who wants to be a woman okay again look if they want to have that that's fine right i'm just saying I don't want to hear anything about women's rights right uh if this is what you're gonna be doing but hey that is their right if they want to have transgender cheerleader fine right i just know that i probably won't be right enjoying uh the performances from cheerleaders because i don't really want to watch men uh dance okay uh that's just not what i'm into right i'm just not into that okay uh so again with that being said um i want to talk about a story here in, from the sports world in which you do have some brave players that are standing up to the woke corporate agenda as five Tampa Bay Rays players declined to wear the LGBTQ plus logo on their uniform during Pride Night celebration. Now, again, I'm calling these players brave because this truly is brave. They're going to get eviscerated by the mainstream liberal media, right? They're going to be called homophobic uh, bigots, okay? That's what's going to happen. So it's very brave of them uh to do this as again their, their team wanted to show how inclusive they are and that they you know are accepting of you know the lgbtq lifestyle by putting these rainbow color logos on their uniform okay you see these patches right here uh this is what they're doing in, in celebration of pride which again hey if that's what they want to do you know I, I can't stop them from doing it but at the same time um I feel like this wouldn't happen if, let's say, you know, they wanted to put some Christian symbolism, right, on their clothes, right? I, I feel like they'd be like, nah, we shouldn't do this. This is the divisive, okay? Not everybody necessarily agrees with this, uh, but, you know, hey, they will proudly put pride symbolism on their uniforms and, and clothing. Again, I find it interesting how this works, right? Um, so with, with that being said, I, I want to read about this. At least five players on the Tampa Bay Rays roster opted not to wear a patch the team added to their uniforms intended to celebrate pride month in saturday's 3-2 loss to the chicago white Sox. during the team's 16th annual pride night celebration raised caps and uniforms had logos color in the style of the modern lgbtq plus pride flag but not everyone in the clubhouse chose to participate First, a look at the changes that Tampa Bay made to the uniforms for Saturday's game. So again, as you can see here, this is, you know, they this is what they're doing. They made their logos, you know, rainbow color. Pitchers Jason Adam, Jalen Beeks, Brooks Rally, Jeffrey Springs, and Ron Thompson were among the players who did not wear the patch on their uniforms and chose to wear the team's standard caps for the June 4th home game. Yeah. 
pray for these individuals, okay? Because they're going to need all the prayers they can get because the woke mainstream liberal media is going to eviscerate them for this. Adams was selected by the organization to speak on behalf of the players who opted out and called it a, quote, faith-based decision and that the decision wasn't judgmental per the times. Quote, it's a hard decision because ultimately we all said what we want is them to know that all are welcome and love here. But when we put it on our bodies, I think a lot of guys decided that it's just a lifestyle that maybe not that they look down on anybody or think differently. It's just that maybe we don't want to encourage it if we believe in Jesus who encouraged us to live a lifestyle that would abstain from that behavior. Just like Jesus encourages me as a heterosexual male to abstain from sex outside of the confines of marriage it's no different okay so they're basically saying look from a religious perspective uh we don't agree with this so therefore we don't want to wear this patch not because we necessarily look down on this lifestyle or we're saying that people aren't welcome we're just simply saying that we shouldn't be forced to promote a lifestyle that we don't agree with like our morals don't agree with right that, that's essentially what they're saying here but again this will be looked at as bigotry right that that is how that would be interpreted and i'm going to show you guys here in a minute manager kevin cash said the player's decision not to wear the pride caps and patches which the team described as something players uh could choose to opt into didn't create any division in the clubhouse quote i think what it has created is like what you've heard a lot of conversation and valuing the different perspectives inside the clubhouse but really appreciating the community that we are trying to support here cash said all right so this brings me to new york times Okay, in their article about this, right, which again is basically bashing these players, okay, uh, for their decision, their faith based decision. Uh, as the title of this article from the New York Times says, an attempt at inclusion proves there is more work to do. And this author, by the name of Tyler Kepner, is going to argue that this team allowing these players to opt out of wearing uh, these patches uh, is low key the team allowing these players to condemn gay culture right that is what this author is going to argue he's basically going to argue that hey this team allowing them to uh opt out of wearing this patch because it doesn't go along with their religious beliefs is this team basically allowing them to be bigots right towards gay people that that is essentially the argument here so let's actually read this as a low payroll team that challenges convention, the Rays prioritize clubhouse harmony without buy-in from players. Their unorthodox on-field strategies might not work. The organization wanted to share its values with the uniforms, Silverman said, but would not force players to comply if they were uncomfortable. Yet allowing the players to opt out of the promotion and to use the platform to endorse an opposite viewpoint, the Rays undercut the message of inclusion they were trying to send. Words like lifestyle and behavior are widely known tropes often interpreted as a polite cover for condemning gay culture. So, again, basically what this author is arguing here is that, well, the raise allowing them to opt out is allowing them to endorse an opposite point of view, which I, I don't buy into that because basically what they're saying is that we don't agree with it. However, we welcome all fans from all types of backgrounds, right? So they're not necessarily saying, no, 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 these fans shouldn't be allowed uh, to come to our games and that we don't want them here. No, that's not what they're saying. Because the whole point of wearing the patches is to promote the idea that, hey, everybody's included, okay? Come to our games, we welcome all fans. But what these players are saying is that just because we're not wearing these patches, that, that doesn't mean that we don't want to be inclusive. We definitely want people to come to our games, but we just don't agree with their lifestyle. But that doesn't mean that we don't want you to come to our games. That doesn't mean that we don't want you included, okay? But again, th this author, again, is trying to make their uh, opposition to wearing the patches as some form of bigotry. The Rays held their promotion the day after the Dodgers had honored the memory of Glenn Burke, a former outfielder, for the team who was the first major leaguer to come out as gay at the team's LGBTQ plus pride night in Los Angeles. The resistance of some players in St. Petersburg, despite the Rays best intentions, show how far the movement still has to go. Quote, when people use their interpretation of religion to justify discrimination against people for the way they were born, it's really an indictment of them and their faith, said the author Andrew Moranis, who wrote a biography of Burke, who died in 1995, titled Single Out, that 
published last year, acknowledging that people are people and all fans are welcome. That's not something you should be able to opt out of. Okay, this is BS. This is BS. Because again, I can say, listen, we welcome all fans. <laughs> we want your money, okay? But I don't necessarily have to endorse your lifestyle. Your lifestyle has nothing to do with your ability to enjoy the game, right? Those are two different things. Who you sleep with has nothing to do with the game. It has nothing to do with the game. So why in the world should I have to endorse who you sleep with in order for me to say that, hey, you're welcome to come to the game? You don't You don't have to do that, right? You don't have to do that. Because again, I can make the argument that, well, you know what? Since the Dodgers won't allow me to wear Christian symbolism on my uniform, then they're not inclusive of Christians, right? They're bigots against Christians. They don't want Christian fans to show up to the game. And if I made that argument, he would say, no, that's absolutely ridiculous. So why is it not ridiculous <laughs> when it comes to the whole pride thing? Again, this is the problem with the woke left. And this is why they've gone extreme and they're turning off a whole lot of people. Because it's one thing to say, you know what? Um... I don't necessarily agree with your lifestyle, but hey, I don't want any discrimination against you. I want you to have the same rights as everybody else. I think that is the standard position of a lot of conservatives and, you know, libertarian types, okay? Um, however, the left, right, has got to the point where they can't tolerate anybody that disagrees with that lifestyle, right? They're saying, no, 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 you have to not only agree with it, but you have to openly promote it, right? Again, that is... The issue, this is why they become extreme. They simply can't accept people that say, hey, I don't agree with it. But, you know, hey, do what you want to do. I just don't agree with it. I, I, I want equal rights for you. I'm not going to promote it, right? Th they don't like that. You're a bigot if you don't want to promote it. Not only do you have to agree with it, you have to promote it. That is the problem, right? Th that is the problem. And that is why when the left talk about tolerance, um, I just find it to be a joke because they're the ones that are intolerant. They're intolerant to people who don't want to endorse and support <laughs> their agenda. That That's kind of what it is, right? I feel like it's very tolerant when you are somebody that says, I don't agree with something, but I'm never going to want to discriminate against your right a as a human being, right? To me, that is the definition of being tolerant because there are people who tend to be, you know, more socially conservative that will go as far as to say, you know what, I, I just think that, you know, this stuff should be banned, period, right? I don't want any of this. But I don't think that's what most conservatives are at nowadays. I think most conservatives, and again, libertarian types are like, hey, you know what, I don't agree with it, but hey, it, it is what it is. But I also don't like seeing it promoted everywhere as well either, right? I think that's what people are at. And just because you don't like seeing it promoted, that, that doesn't mean you're a bigot. That's just simply saying it is my preference not to see this stuff promoted to children right and to society as a whole but i'm not going to stop you from living that lifestyle right i'm not trying to ban gay bars or ban gay people from getting jobs or being able to feed their families or any of that stuff i'm not trying to ban that stuff i'm simply just saying look why put it out there to the world and, and push this lifestyle on kids and society as a whole why do that that is what the argument is because we've already accepted this when it comes to religion, right? You can't be out here pushing your religion on everybody, okay? So why in the world should we accept people being able to push who they sleep with on everybody, right? Or celebrating who people sleep with <laughs> on everybody. You can't have it both ways. So if you're cool with this, then, hey, you should be totally fine with, you know, these corporations uh, pushing a whole bunch of religious stuff on you, right? And if these players want to wear patches that... Uh, have crosses or Christian symbolism, you should be fine with that. And if you're not fine with it, again, you're, you're a bigot. You're anti-Christian, right? <laughs> you're Christian-phobic. <laughs> That's what you are. But again, if you don't want this pushed on everybody, right? If you don't support it, then you are a bigot. So again, uh, I expect these players to get a whole lot of backlash for this. Uh, but hey, you know what? I'm pretty sure they will have a lot of people that are also going to be supporting their decision as well too. Because I think they do have the right to make decision not to support a lifestyle that is not in agreement with their personal and moral religious beliefs. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.